Hey everyone, Charles Calhoun, AKA The Shake Tree Pro, and once again, it's time for that Monday lesson. This is Monday lesson number three. Now, today, uh, you know, we're gonna get in, you know, first we started off with the uh, five phases for me using kind of like a template for how I fix, uh, find fixes and faults or whatever, whether you're dealing and breaking down different parts of the body, kind of like block psychology learning to find, fix, like I say, fixes and faults in the golf swing. Uh, lesson, uh, Monday lesson two was when I broke down and gave a definition or a, to the joints or uh, six major joints on each side of the body and I defined movements to it, uh, how I see it, you know, for building, you know, uh, uh, my top down philosophy. Well, the day is now we're getting ready to start moving into those actions that I use that's actually, you know, to get you out towards the golf course, you know. And the, the main thing is, is that I know the traditional way of teaching the body has always been upper body and lower body, you know, and that's where the hips were being, you know, the drivers of everything. Well, when I got to studying and learning, and uh, I learned about the shoulder girdle, because my daughter broke her collarbone, and I got to learning a little bit more about the shoulder girdle, the collarbone, the scapulas, all of that, and I came to find out is that the scapula in itself with the entire shoulder girdle is only connected to the body cavity at the call, I mean, at your sternum with the collarbones, that's it. And if, that's why if you break your collarbone, you can't really lift your arm, uh, you know, other than just the muscles or whatever. It's like, wow. So that was a big discovery to me. So when I understood that, then I said, hey, maybe we might want to look at the body different. Since the shoulder girdle is a separate entity from the body cavity, and we're only looking at upper body and lower body, why not take that and look at it from a different perspective? And that's why I created the three bodies. So if you would look here, that's in green, that is the upper body. This is a rear view. That is the upper body. And like I said, why I call that the upper body? Because that's the highest point that sets up above the body cavity and itself, you know, with the shoulder girdles, uh, we got the arm assemblies, you know, everything, hands, everything. And that's what allows us to create the golf swing, which is really, you know, the biggest part of top down. The second part is I have is the middle body here that goes from the top of the first ribs all the way down to the distal end of the thigh bones. Now that is what I call the middle body, and that'll be very, very important when I get ready to talk to you about how I created my first book I ever wrote, Golf Setup for Success. I wanted a setup that was gonna be conducive to something that everybody does, because you see all kinds of different setups, and that's fine, because body types look different, but I ask the question, what are we truly trying to set up? And then the next we have here in orange is the lower body. And the lower body in science, I tell people, you know, which people know, in science, anything below the knees is considered the legs in science. That's why I call them, quote unquote, the anatomical legs. You know, anatomy, anatomical, you know, that's how that goes. But anyway, I always, when I looked here, I looked at the legs in themselves, or the lower body, it's kind of like a platform because this, there, there is a true spacing that if you look here at the elbow joint, how the elbow joint comes together, but at the knee, remember I said that that was called a hinge joint, you know, when I was talking about the movements? Well, the knees are also a hinge joint as well, but they don't connect together like the elbow joint. There's a spacing there. We have the meniscus in it. And then what happens is the middle body Basically, it's rest up on, on top of the base of the knee, I mean the top of the knees. It's just kind of just, or your, your, um, your lower body. The middle body just rests up on top of that. So, when I decide, looked at that, and I was like, okay, now, with this upper body, with this middle body, and with this lower body, how are we really creating a setup? So let me grab this here. So when I started creating my setup, let me grab the skin here for a second. Now I'm gonna let you see this real quick. 
when I start creating my setup, and I said, what are we really setting up in athletics? Remember I told you all before, 100,000 times by now, if it does not work, or if it only just works for me, then I'm not gonna use it. I, it's it's got to be conducive to everybody. That's what I'm trying to teach. And as and I know people say, hey, you, nobody really finds the answers in golf. Well, maybe you're not looking in the right places. But if you look here, from the first rib all the way down to the distal end of the knee, right here is your hip sockets. If you can see the hip sockets right there in the middle body. Now, because of the hip sockets or ball and socket joints, when I tell people when I tell people that, hey, look, when you're getting ready to set up, just locate your first ribs out here at the top of your body cavity. And this right here is your hip sockets. Inside of the pelvis is the things they call the acetabulums. That's kind of like if you take the little holes that you see when you pull the baby doll legs out. And all you do is set here. You can flex your toes if you want. However, dorsiflexion, lift your toes. And all you do is just push down on those and you're putting the pressure right here towards your knee and all you're doing is just folding over and allowing your hands to hang. Now that's how you set up. It is so simple and if you can see it right here, as I represent the green in the upper body there, the yellow in the middle there, see how it just folds over, how the yellow folds over for the middle body and everything is resting right here on top of the lower body, up on top of the legs and of course your feet touch the ground. Remember the fundamentals? Golf clubs in your hand, feet touch the ground. None of us have to get away from that. But that's the simplicity of just looking at the body from that perspective, upper body, middle body, and lower body. And remember, top of the first ribs, all the way down to the distal end of the thigh bones. And all you do is just basically as you push down on that, let the pelvis, and your pelvis girdle, just let it bend. Those holes that the hip socket goes in are called the acetabulums. Just allow it to bend over, and then you're just there. So you're really setting up, you know, and I tell people, although you're getting pressure on the ground, no question to your feet, but what you're truly setting up is the middle body up on top of the lower body. That's what you're really setting up, and that's what gets you there. That's why you could be springy in sports, however you want, whether it's basketball. And that's the thing is, it doesn't matter the sport if you're bending over, you're still going from the first rib to there. Now I know people are trying to do the head or something of that nature, but your head's got independent movement in a sense. You know, that's one of the reasons I don't really, really talk about that so much other than like in the five phases, because the head's got so many different things that it does. You know, one in particular is very, very important. So people, get a good look at that upper body, middle body, lower body. That's how I create my setup. That's how when I set up there, I got the same setup every single time because I'm creating the same kind of bending motion from exactly the same mindset and, and pre-set up of how I'm getting ready to set up to the ball to hit it. And I said before, it's not just conducive to golf, it's conducive to any sports. So people, I hope you enjoyed this Monday lesson. Next Monday lesson, I'm gonna start talking to you directly about the shoulder girdle. The shoulder girdle and how, in essence, it's value because the shoulder girdle is what creates top down. So we're definitely gonna get into that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Hey, I've told people before that I don't know what I need to do. I don't know why I'm not being put in the algorithm. I'm putting out great information out there. I got a ton of videos for you. You know, I, we're, we're gonna find out. Because as I said before, you know, I don't know why I don't have 100,000 viewers out there. I mean, I'm laying out some great information for you. Nobody can argue the dead fingers. Those things have just been phenomenal. And it just keeps getting better and better. Like I said, I'm having more athletes uh, in other sports that's reaching out to me, asking me questions about the dead finger. I mean, I'm not getting any teachers that's really coming to me the way that, you know, you would think that maybe want to grow the game or something of that nature. Uh, you know, really, really wanting to sit down and really want to talk about, you know, these dead fingers and, and how I come. I know it's my name uh, that I call it the dead fingers, but hey, when you develop it and stuff, you know, you name it what you want. And you can do the same for yours. That's what I call them, and it works great for me. But hey, you know, we're just going to see how this goes. But baby, let me tell you what, you know, if you give this one a thumbs up, 
tell others to give it a thumbs up, and then, hey, you know, we can keep on growing and we can make top, top down what it needs to be. Like I said, from the ground up needed a challenge, and I'm challenging it and creating with top down. And ain't nothing wrong with good competition. So always remember this. Give this video a great, great, great thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And as they say, make sure you pay attention to next Monday's lesson, which is going to be on the shoulder girdle. And like I always say, Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro, always good golfing.